Hi, everyone. How are you all doing? <clears throat> Thank you so much, so much for joining me today. We're going to get cute today. And uh, <clears throat> let's go live. Let's get started. So, oh my goodness, it's been a long time. So welcome to today's live. My name is Shola and this is Discovering Natural. Today we're going to get cute. Okay, so excuse me if you see me go... <clears throat> I got my water here, so I'll be able to sip it. Mm. But today we're going to talk about growing your hair. So a lot of people will um, look for oils and all that stuff, products to grow their hair. But my thing is this. Let me first say welcome. So I have a couple of people that just joined me. Welcome, welcome on my Amazon page. If you're not following my Amazon page, let me just drop it in there and uh, remind you, please click on this, the link and follow my Amazon page. Click on the follow button right over there. Welcome everyone. Thank you so much for joining. We're going to be talking about how to grow your hair using wigs. Yes. And before I even get started, let me showcase the wig that I will be showing in this discussion. If you're someone that you have struggled to grow your hair, you've tried all that stuff, there are methods you can do and keep your hair protected using wigs. So the wig that I'm going to be showcasing is from v VIP Wrong. Okay, this is what it looks like. It comes packaged like this, very well packaged, very beautiful. I love the fact that the packaging is amazing. I love that about it. And let's bring it out, okay, to show you. This is what it looks like when you bring it out. It comes big like this. And then it also has a wig cap. I love that they give you a wig cap. Always, always, always. So a little bit of details about this wig before we start our discussion. So let me share with you. You can click on the um, image in the carousel. I've already dropped the link to how to get this wig in the carousel. So you can have it with you. You can try it out. And um, trust me, you'll love it. Because I was so excited. I've been saving this. You know how, how long I've been waiting for this. So the length of this wig is 24 inches. It is a premium four by four closure, lace closure wig. Um, human hair, if you're wondering. Look how lush it is. Let me take off the netting. And the lacing is like invisible lacing. So we'll take off the lacing. You can see how nice and bouncy it is. I'm excited to try it on. And this is the lace. So bringing it closer to my skin, you can see how it blends well with my skin. And once we trim that off, we'll be able to use it. You can even see on the scalp area, you can see how it kind of camouflages well with my skin. So it's really tangle free. You see, I'm just running my fingers through it no tangles whatsoever and that's one thing when you buy wigs for protecting your hair for growing out your hair um you can choose whichever type of wig you want thank you so much hi mulia hi juba thank you so much lynn and um zen Tong. thank you so much for following and i see takara look at it this is beautiful this is beautiful beautiful okay so this is what it looks like the length i'm looking forward to it because winter this is winter and um winter time my hair is going to be protected so we're going to take this wig and i'm going to put her on my wig head okay we're going to start prepping hi katie thank you so much for following lee thank you an amazon customer so the first thing i want to do is that i want to prep this wig and i'm putting it on my eye shot wig head this is what my wig head looks like um and i'm going to let's straighten up my wig head right there and i have her on this tripod everything i'm showing you right now i've already put it on the um what do you call it on the link so you can click it on the cancel and stuff so yeah okay let's do this i'm going to take the wig 
and just put her right on here before I put her on myself. And you can see how beautifully she sits. Let's get you straight, girlfriend. Huh? 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 What are we going to name her before I finish with this live? I do want to name her. Okay. Let me show you also inside of the cap. I'm sure you're all wondering inside of the cap. Of course, we have that four by four lace right there. The density is 180% density. It's a Brazilian um, virgin hair with natural um, hairline. So it looks quite natural. Um, now, thank you to Kara. And it also has this combs on one side, the other side and also at the base area it has adjustable right over there so let me put her on here again <laughs> right there okay so the first thing i'm going to do is i want to okay i want to just show you how she looks from the front to the back you can see how beautiful she looks and I'm just going to prep my own hair. Now, when you are going to wear a wig, don't forget about your own hair. So let me just quickly prep my own hair. So the first thing that I do when it comes to prepping my own hair, let's get that, uh, just one second. Prepping my own hair is I want to make sure my hair is well moisturized, right? So I'm going to spray a little bit of water. Hi, sweetie. Um, on my hair. Okay. Okay. So water is the first thing when you first want to start moisturizing your hair, spray water. Whenever you wear a wig, it's actually best you curl your hair so that it lays more flat. But with this one that has a lot of nice body to it, very, very lightweight. It's not heavy at all. So the next I'm going to treat my scalp. Treating your scalp, I'm going to be using the Rapid Biotin Scalp Spray. When you're using products, okay, you want to use products that combines as um, hair growth ingredients in it. This one has like biotin, it has like fenugreek, combined with this all that has MSM and so many, so many other stuff, combine them together. All you just have to do is that when you wake up, before you put in your wig, you just spray this onto your scalp to keep your scalp healthy. So we want to keep our scalp healthy while we wear our wig. I'm going to massage, massage that in really, really well. I'm going to grab my oil and put the oil on my edges. You guys, yes, on your edges. You want, you don't want to lose your edges while growing your hair, while wearing wig. I'm going to put it just along my hairline, on my scalp area. This stuff is really good. If you've never gotten yours, you can get it on Amazon. Click on get the combo. They work together really, really well. Uh, once I'm done with that, I'm just going to massage again. Massage. Okay, massage really, really well. Okay, next I'm going to moisturize my hair. Yes, moisture, add moisture to your hair. You don't want your hair to dry out. You don't, trust me. So I'm going to take the Shea Moisture. This is the Shea Moisture Curl Enhancing Smoothie. This is what I use in order to moisturize my hair. And I don't use so much. Just take a little bit of it. First thing you want to do is concentrate on, yeah. So for those that are asking that question, if you look in the comment, I did drop the link to my Amazon Live and my Amazon page. So please check it out. So this spray that I used and this um, oil, this is the Yuhuru Natural Rapid Bouting MSM Scalp Spray. This is for your scalp. This is for your scalp, not for your hair. That's why I first moisturize my hair with water. This is just plain water. So I've moisturized my ends and now I take it through my hair. You see, I'm going to put it through my hair and you see how even when it's it looks as if it's um, whitish. 
you see how my scalp is well moisturized and i'm gonna put this in a low bun normally i will conroll my hair the key thing is you want to protect your ends so i'm gonna post this in a low bun so if i put it on a low bun that's okay but if you don't want that bunching up over there what you want to do is you want to grab your bobby pins right so once you grab your bobby pins i'll show you what you do so we just use the shea moisture curl and as a smoothie this stuff is very moisturizing i find it very moisturizing for my hair i've been using it consistently since september the second i know <laughs> so um so just grab your bobby pin and we're just gonna pin the hair to lay it flat okay so we're just going to pin the hair like this. I'm going to grab it, grab another bobby pin. Oh, just dropped one. <laughs> grab another bobby pin. Swing it over. As you can see. And I'm just pinning it. So if you're someone that you don't know how to con roll or you are sensitive scalp or you don't have somebody to con roll for you, just put your hair in some braids or put your hair in some twist. And just try and bobby pin your hair flat so that it lays as flat as possible. I'm swinging my hair because my hair is long. So I'm swinging it across like this. Okay. And then I'm swinging the other ends across. So why am I doing this? When you do something like this, you are protecting your ends. When you want to grow your hair, it's not your scalp that is the all in all. Your scalp is important. Your scalp health is important. It's important you keep your scalp healthy and good. That's why I first did the scalp spray. And then I massaged my scalp with the oil. But the ends of your hair is the main, main, main thing. If the ends of your hair is dry and breaking all the time, you're not going to retain length. Retention is key. Retention is vital. Retention is the game changer. So I have a question and um, I see Tamika. Tamika says, I love your natural hair and the texture is gorgeous. You have a lovely spirit. I enjoy watching you. Thank you so much, Takara. That was from Takara. Thank you so much. And I see you, Sidi Noise Lipil. Thank you so much. Hi. Okay, so we are focusing the rest of this year, if we're going to do the wig routine, we are focusing on protecting the ends of our hair. So you can see, as I've done it this way, I've tucked everything in, right? So everything is tucked in, even the back of my hair is tucked in nicely. So the next thing that I'm going to do is wearing the wig. Wearing the wig protects your hair. Game changer, wig cap protect your hair. I like black wig caps, but um, let me get my scissors. But I will do okay with uh, using a normal wig cap like this one that they sent. That will do because I'll show you some tips and some tricks that you're going to do. If you're someone that you are new at wearing wig, like I, I call myself somebody that is like not new at wearing wig, but I don't, I'm not like a pro pro. I don't do all the steps that a lot of those girls do. See, they give me, they give you two. You get two. Lovely. Lovely, lovely. So I am not big on that. Um, another thing that you could also do is you could also spray mousse on your hair to help it lay down. You could do that too if you want. It's really, really up to you. So I'm going to take the wig cap and I'm going to put it on me. Okay. I'm going to wear the wig cap like this. Okay. So this is the wig cap. I want to introduce you to a couple other things that you could wear. Um, this is a wig grip, right? When you use a wig grip, I'll show you when the wig, wig grip. So when you use the wig grip, let's select the wig grip. Oh, oh it's from my course. So this is the wig grip. You could use the wig grip if you're wearing something that is not lace front, even if you're wearing something like that. The wig grip helps to prevent the hair, um, the wig from sliding all over the place. This stuff works. 
So what you want to do is that the label over here, you want to keep it right on this side. And then you want to take the wig grip and use it like that. Good afternoon. Oh, thank you, Takesha. Thank you, Takesha, for coming. So uh, let me make sure I'm laying it flat. Because sometimes when you're, when you're doing all this on camera, sometimes you can't see well. So let me <laughs> use my mirror to make sure I'm laying it flat. So take the wig creep. So I'm gonna show you how it looks even without, just with the wig grip, okay? And when you buy this wig grip, this wig grip comes, I have a big head. <laughs> it comes with four in a pack. So you are good. You can see how I keep my edges out. But you could wear your wig cap and keep your edges in. So I'm going to show you a couple of things. Now, when we wear the wig, let's take our wig, the star of the show. Very beautiful. Doesn't tangle. You see, no tangles. I hate it when wigs tangle. You could also take your um, your comb or this comb thing. Uh, I see this comb thing. Your brush. You can take your brush. And you can brush it. I'm trying to select the brush. This brush is really beautiful. Look how beautiful it is. Very beautiful. And it's just, right now it's on sale for, uh, I think, less than $10. So you can get it. And it's so nice. See how it just goes through. You guys see this? And if you think I'm not putting it through, see. Even if you brush it, everything goes back into form. Very nice. Okay, let's put it on the head. <laughs> Okay, so first of all, I'm not adjusting anything. This is where it comes from, the manufacturer. And I'm just going to put on my big old head, just like that. I wear my wig really weirdly. Somebody once accused me of wearing a wig like a cap. So this is without me adjusting the strap or anything of that sort. I'm putting it in the middle. Okay, let me get my cap my mirror to look really well. So this is the lace right there. And this is without me tightening it. You guys see how it lays effortlessly. Oh, Shakira, Shakira, got nothing on me. Hey, tonight I asked my husband, I said, what do you want to eat? I'll make you anything you want, any special food you want. Guess what he said? It was like, order something. I was like, jackpot! It was like, order food. When he said order food, because I'm one of those people that I always cook. I cook, cook. Even when my parents were visiting me, I was cooking. You know, I was doing all this stuff. I cook. I love cooking, but it can be tiring cooking all the time. When my husband said, order anything. I told my kids uh, in the family chat, we have a family chat on our phone. And on the family chat, I was like, Chinese food. Hey, hi, Adiola. And it's so beautiful. This is one of the way it doesn't tangle. You guys look at it. And I purposely wore this shirt so that you can see it against my skin and everything. And I like the length. Oh, this is give me, this is my Christmas here. <laughs> oh, oh. And see, the thing is that I've not even yet tightened it, right? I've not tightened it at the back, okay? So let's tighten it up, and I'm going to put it on again. Ah, oh, feeling sexy! <laughs> you guys, ignore me. Ignore, ignore your girl. Your girl is feeling too much, so I'm putting it on this last hook right over here. Hmm. I have a friend that this wig, she wears wigs like this. I know if she comes to my house, she'll be like, Shall I let me see that wig? That wig that you are shaking around. Eh? I know, you know yourself. Hmm. You're going to come and thief my wig. I can tell. So I'm putting it, the hook. You see how I put the hook? So I'm going to put it again. And we're going to just wear it again. The way everybody always makes fun that, ah, you don't wear a wig like that, my girl. I'm just going to wear it like that. I don't normally use the comb. But if you do use the comb, use the comb to secure. 
So let me make sure I'm getting it the straight and I'm just gonna bring it more up like that. See why I say I like black, um, I prefer the black wig cap, right? So if you're someone that you want to secure it, make sure that it's secure. There are a couple of things that you could use, right? You could use, um, uh, what do you call it? Um, you could use a spray. So I'm trying to find a spray for you guys. So you could use this spray. This is the ORS spray. This is a wig spray. It's a wig grip spray. So you just have to spray it on your hair, this area, right? So let's do that, okay? Let's do that. I'm just going to take the wig and I'm just going to tie it back. Remember, your girl is not like a pro pro, but we, oh, look how it looks. Even when I tie it back, it's giving me ponytail action. I can wear this to walk out. I'm thinking I can wear it. Adiola, this is a beautiful wig, a beautiful, beautiful wig. So you could use this. <laughs> Did you guys see that? <laughs> or you could also use this. This is also a good one. This old, this is like a lace jelly. I'm not going to use this today, but you could use this too. Very, very inexpensive, very, very good. So what I'm doing is I'm just going to take this. Okay, when you use this, you need um, one of this stuff, right? And this is um, those electric bands so that it holds, right? Okay, so this one, you just put a little boost, like a little shot of it. So the lace area doesn't have lace over here. It is just hair that you want to spray right? Remember, we've already moisturized our edges so that we're protecting our edges. So you can take this and just shoot. You see? Just shoot it along. It's going to drip. Just be mindful of that. Shoot it along your hairline. And what's going to happen is, let me get my, I just usually do this, okay? This is what I do. Okay, and I take my little brush and I kind of brush it in there. I've actually sprayed this on my hair and it hasn't damaged my hair, right? It hasn't damaged my hair. I'm not tired. Long time, sis. So you just wait for this for a few minutes. They said how long it should, you should spray. When you spray this, they said... Spray it. Let's let me give you the right instructions here. For wig application, cleanse the hairline of all makeup. That's why I didn't come with makeup on. My face is already cleansed. And hair products allow thirty to sixty seconds for it to stay tacky. So allow sixty. So we've already passed that timeline. So now I'm just gonna take this. Okay. Ah. I never, I never do this on camera, so please, please hang in there with me. Take it, and I'm just going to... So do you guys cut yours first before you do that? Okay, so it's already tacky. You see why I said this is... Ooh, it's already stained. So if you feel that you need more grip to it let me use my this brush i'm just brushing it away like that so what i do is i just take this headband thin elastic headband stuff and i put it on top like that to kind of hold it hold it down Woo. Woo. let me do that yeah, it's already, see, it's already stained, but because I waited too long. So what I can do is, I can, see, it's already stained. Uh, okay. So let me spray it. I'm going to spray it again. And then this time I'm not going to talk too much. <laughs> Trust me. Okay. Grab this. This is the only reason why I don't like this, because of the dripness. Okay, now I'm going to just quickly put it on like that.
quickly put it on like that. Let me use my edge brush. Because sometimes I'll use the edge brush to do that. And then, okay, we will hold this down. Because after this, I'm going to do the cut. Hold this down like that. Okay, secure it like that, and we are good to go. I don't see any much shedding. Okay, and just see. Okay, we just have a few, and that usually happens like when you are first wearing wigs and stuff. When you get it out of the box, you do have to remove all the any sheddings and stuff from it. But so far, so far, so good. Let me see you. That's my own version because I don't want them to say, oh, copyright. There was a time I was singing a song. I was JJ Lee, just on my own, no, just singing a song. That's how somebody now said, hey, copyright. I'm like, what if I was singing A, B, C, D, E, F, G? You see that I'm singing Happy Birthday. <laughs> anyway, let me just stop. Let me just stop. Ah! This wig is light. So I'm going to just let this go. Now, another thing about when you use wigs um, to grow your hair is if you're someone that you're going to, you know how some people will wear wigs and they don't take it off? Yes. So there's a process where people will put on a wig cap. They'll glue it down with um, a glue like this. Okay. Um, let me do this. They'll glue it down with a glue like this. This one is, what? how much is this one? I think the next time I wear wigs, I'm going to try this one. Right now it's like 10 something. But they'll glue it down with a wig like that. And they'll now apply a bonding, something like a black thing on it. So that it will, I know, so that, I don't know what they, why they apply that black stuff. But they will apply that black stuff on it so that it will keep everything intact and stuff. But personally, I don't do that, but some people like keeping their wigs for two weeks. So for two weeks, they do that. Now, if you are someone that you keep on your wigs, you don't take it off, you keep it on for two weeks or longer, please, please make sure you moisturize your hair, right? You want to moisturize your hair thoroughly. You don't want to play around. You don't want to joke around with the moisturizing. Moisturize your hair thoroughly right okay so that's one tip that i want to give you anything that you want to do in terms of wearing a wig wearing a protective style hi roxy uh, i'm trying to read your name roxiana thank you so much it's beautiful right okay so i usually will keep this on for like 30 for like 10 minutes and stop so while this is on i'm going to do a light makeup and the makeup that i'm going to be using is I'm using e.l.f. This is my e.l.f. Um, foundation. It's like a foundation cream stuff. So I usually would just use it, dab it. Sometimes I'll just dab it a little bit, like all over. So let's do this. Oh, I don't want to get it on my wig. I'm just going to dab, just dab. Okay. And then I'm just going to start doing that. Okay. Ignore me staining that because I am still going to cut that off. So just apply. I don't usually use sponges, to be honest with you. I prefer using a brush like this. See the difference? I'll show you the difference between using a sponge and using a brush. Okay, so how have you guys been? It's been a long time that we've been live and stuff, but I want to look a little bit more polished. So you see, you see how the color looks kind of blur? <laughs> but when I use this, the brush, the brush kind of does a better job, I think. For me, you guys see? You see how the brush looks more polished? Yeah, let me just use the brush now. And the brush looks more dewy, gives it that more dewy look. I prefer that. 
See, my face is starting to look, look, look like a, a live person. Okay. So after I use my foundation, mm, I like when I put on makeup and I like it to look natural. I don't like my makeup to look too la la la. Thank you so much. Oh my goodness. I see so much more people following uh, Noella, um, Tobika, Greg, Marcos, Rhonda, Jenny, and Kenyan. Thank you so much. Hopefully I didn't butcher your name. I, you know, I'm the girl with the accent. So I'm using this um, Milani. I'm just using it. My face, like especially my dark circles, I need to buy. I ran out of my, one of my concealers that I use. I really like it. It's this 16 hour concealer. It's available on Amazon, but I've not yet bought it. I just, when I was not feeling fine, I was just, makeup was the last thing on my mind. So your girl wasn't wearing makeup or anything of that sort right okay Ooh. and this is the thing with makeup for me i like makeup to just complement my look complement myself not really cover me up okay i don't like makeup to make me up i just i just don't like that i'm using my elf this is my elf um uh what they call it um blush thing let me see if i can select it on the carousel i believe yeah this is the natural palette it's called yeah natural palette it's like this and i'm just going to take a little bit of it just to put a little color on my face you guys see that <laughs> and i just use my fingers just go like that just to wake it up my daughters are like mom you always use too much blush i said i like blush i like me some blush mm -hmm. and now i'm going to use my um eye primer everything is so affordable elf you can never go wrong with elf if you use elf let me know Hello, Rachel. Rachel said, I'm glad you are doing this. I have lace wig and I want to take care of my natural hair. Yeah, so you do want to take care of your natural hair even when you're wearing a wig. And also, please wash your wigs. Yeah, wash your wigs, especially if you're wearing them over and over again. Once in a while, you don't have to wash them every single week. Okay, but you do want to wash your wigs and keep them healthy. Okay, you don't want to stop growing in your wig. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Um, I'm using this color. Oh, I didn't select on the carousel. This um I look at I broke my one of the plates. Um, yeah, but I'm using one of those, and that is the eye makeup I choose to use today. I'm so glad I'm not cooking today. Oh, I'm so glad I am not cooking today because girl. I've been cooking all this week and I am tired. I cooked with a sick kid. My youngest daughter was sick yesterday. Ooh, 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 was sick yesterday and she didn't go to school. She was throwing, everything was coming out from all the sides, all the openings. You guys know what I mean? All the openings in her body, everything was coming out. And I was just like, girl, she was like, I can't keep anything in. I can't keep anything in. I'm like, sorry, sweetheart. Ooh. Like, sorry, sweetheart. How many of you wet your brushes before you use it? I find that if I wet my brush before I use it, it makes it more pigmented. So this brush, I did wet it. So it's, it's, it's moist. I actually washed my brush. So it was like a bit moist. I'm going for a very glam look today. Because this wig that I'm wearing doesn't deserve anything but glam. Very, very glam. I think this is the most glamest I... <laughs> the most glamorous I have been in a while. Oh, this is nice. I am. Mm -hmm. I am going glam mama. Let me get another brush and just clean things. Also pasty. Okay. Ooh. You see how it has that metallic look to it? Mm. Just kind of Adding some more. 
Okay, see. Okay, I'm gonna clean off some areas right there. Okay. And once I do that, um, you can use an eyeliner. This eyeliner is from LA Colors, but I'm just going to use it. Ooh, yeah. Awesome. And Rachel says that she washes a wig. That is good. That is so important. I cannot talk when I'm doing this, but I've been practicing talking while I'm doing this, and I think I'm doing a good job. I'm going to wing my... Oh, look how I winged it. I winged it real good, real good. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I need to be taken out on a date tonight, but I will settle for takeout delivery. But I will be wearing my pretty dress today. I got this nice black dress with um, no back from Amazon. It's a summer dress, but this summer, I didn't get a chance to wear it. Don't you just hate it when you buy a dress and you're like, this is going to be the dress for summer. This is going to be the summer dress. And you end up not wearing it at all. I think, isn't this the most glam that you guys are seeing me? I'm using my um, Essence Mascara. Okay. So I'm still wearing this wig, and this wig is so light. Oh, my goodness. Look at my eye. So light. Ooh. You know, I'm not wearing lashes or anything, but see, this thing does so much justice. Gives me nice, as if I have, like, nice lashes. It really lashes me up. I like to put two coats. I think I need to buy more because I think we're hitting the bottom. Look at it. You guys see? That's without lashes. Ooh. You see how it just does a good job without lashes. Ooh, your aunt is looking good. I'm going to put just a little bit on that lower area. That is it. Mm, mm, mm. Let me do my lips. I'm going to use my, what is this, Vaseline? <laughs> Modernized Vaseline. Okay, next, I like using this NYX, NYX um, lip liner. Let me do this. Okay, so I'm selecting it on the cursor. So if you guys, everything I'm using, you can find it on Amazon. The link is in the comment area. You just have to look for it in the comment area. Where is that? I thought I put, uh, where, oh, there it is. You guys see how much of it I've used. Because I love this lip light liner. This is an espresso, NYX in espresso. My favorite. I keep on buying it over and over again. Okay. So I just line my lips. And what I do, okay. Thank you. Hey, hi, Sandra. What I do is that I line my lip throughout all my lip with this. Because I find that after eating and stuff, my lips still look as if I have lipstick. When I do this, when I just don't line my lip, it doesn't look as if um, um, the lipstick is taken away. So people always ask, how do you keep your lipstick staying so long? This is my secret. That is my secret. So I line my lips with this. Just color it good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Like that, my color is over. If you do this, please comment below. We, and also, where are you guys located? I am in Houston, Texas. Yeah, Ghost Rose, did they lose? I don't know. <laughs> don't let me start hyping up a team. And if they've lost, I'm so sorry. Um. Oh gosh, look how beautiful. Just look how beautiful. Let's finish doing this makeup and then we'll do the hair. And you guys be like, woo, auntie. Yeah, my husband, tonight, tonight I celebrate my love for you. We have no occasion tonight. The occasion is your girl is not cooking. Yes, I dedicate today to the day that I'm not cooking. This is just with the lip liner. Just with the lip liner. 
get it nyx espresso Ooh, just with a lip liner so what lipstick i was thinking of going this color i don't know what i'm wearing this black dress so any color goes well i think red will go better but i'm going with this color this is from a brand that you probably can find <laughs> Uh, and that's something, when you use this lip liner, it does change the color, the actual color of the lipstick, but I would rather do that and keep, and keep the lipstick going. How does that look? You guys, grade me, grade me from one to five in terms of looking good. How does that look? I've not yet done my eyebrow. My eyebrow is, mm, I'm having a love-hate relationship with my eyebrow. I'm wanting it to be thinner. Oh, I see Rachel is in Springfield, Massachusetts. Thank you. Oh, thank you. And there's um, to bake Baker. Is that, I don't have my glasses on. Thank you so much. It looks good. I'm having a love-hate relationship with my eyebrow and I need your suggestion. Should I go thinner on my eyebrow or leave it thick the way it is? Because sometimes my eyebrow just grows so quickly, like it's ready for a cleanup. It's really ready for a cleanup. So it gets so thick. And um, I don't like it being so thick. So that's why, that's why I think I'm hitting pan for a lot of things. So that's why I'm like, I think I should go thinner because if I go thinner with my eyebrow, then I would have to be getting it done all the time. You see how thick it is? So I'm thinking I might go thinner with it. But so far, this is what it looks like. I think this stuff would have said by now. What do y'all think? So I think it would have said by now. So let me take down this um, band. So I'm just taking down the band. Releasing it, and this is the Lang Long Gear. I love it because you can wear it like this. You can also wear it like this. Okay, my daughter took my. I have a. You guys I have an eight. I've I talked to you. I have an eighteen year old now. Yeah. Ooh, I am so excited for my husband to see my new look. And I know, I just hope my daughter doesn't come and say, Mom, I want that wig. I'm like, girl, just because you're an adult or semi-adult, I don't consider 18 years old adult. If you can't pay my bills, if you can't pay my rent, if you can't pay my car note and I got to buy you a car, you're not an adult. <laughs> so when she was 18, she was like, I'm an adult now. Let me see. I'm going to show you a couple. Um, uh, can I show you a picture? I'm going to see if I can show you a picture oh can i do that can i do that oh no i can't i don't want to mess things up hmm okay my daughter let me see if i can get a picture of mm. i don't want to mess it up anyway i'll show you guys later but she be acting like she is the queen you guys see it has stayed right so now I can use a scissors or you could use this. So two things you can use to trim it off. I usually would trim it not on my head because <laughs> I cannot see a thing. But some people are expert at trimming it with this. And um, what you just do is, and I've seen this being done. So I'm just going to take my brush. Let me get my brush. And I want to brush the hair away. And I like that my edges are not, since this is going to cover, I don't have to deal with my edges, right? Okay. If you want to lay it and pull it, you can also pull it. But I love that this gives it a natural, it looks natural as if it's coming from my head, right? So I'm just going to comb this really, really well like this. I'm going to grab my bobby pin. This wig is giving me young auntie look. Okay. Clip it back. <laughs> Thank you. 
That's what I'm trying. Thank you. I'm not a professional. So I'm, that's why I need you guys help with um, this wig. Because I'm not an expert. I love it that I'm not an expert. Because if I'm an expert, you guys be expecting me to be like so pro, pro, pro. So I'm just taping all this. Okay. I didn't bring my clip. I would have had a clip um, to work with. I didn't bring my clip. So I'm going to just pack this back like that. Thank you so much, Sandra. I need your help. <laughs> uh, is the wig from Amazon? Yes, the wig is from Amazon. Let me select it. I'm going to select it on the carousel. I just selected on the carousel and you can buy it on there. Um, it's really affordable. So you can buy it on there. Okay. Okay. So I got that like that. Now, this is the moment of truth. Am I going to mess it up? So I'm just going to take this. I've seen people do this where they just cut. Let me wear my glasses. <laughs> Let me wear my glasses before I mess up a perfect good wig oh i can see myself i can see clearly now the wig is fly ooh, ooh, ooh. i can see all obstacles in my way okay girl get with the program so i'm just cutting it like and it cuts pretty good. Mm -hmm. Just gonna cut strips like that. Even with my with my makeup. Okay, I don't think I cut that one real, real good. Okay. Please. Oh yeah, yeah. So um, I'm gonna tell you. I just dropped the link. So that is the. When you get on there, you'll be able to see the wig. This wig is really nice. This wig is giving me Christmas vibes. So if you want to treat yourself to something this year, and you're like, you know what? I deserve... Man, my scissors is blunt. See how my scissors is not cutting well? Somebody has been playing around my scissors, right? Okay. So now I'm going to use this. Okay, and just to kind of just take my time. Okay, that's why I like using this. With this one, you can just take your time and just shave it down like that. You see why I, I cut it in little strips? Don't worry, I'm going to take care of that one. So with that one also, you could take it. I'm just trying not to cut myself. Okay, see that? Took care of it. So that is why I like cutting it into little strips like that. And with this one, you don't mess with the hair. So I'm not cutting the hair. That's why I wish my, where's my, where's this, where's this? So you see, I just use the, this stuff to get the hair out. Mm, let's continue. You could also, Um, do something where you actually take your foundation and use it to clean up the coloring so that it blends well. Just put your foundation on there. I'm not cutting my hair at all with this. Try not to rush the process. So I'm going to start off from this side now. Take your time, take your time, girl. It's not a race. Okay. Come from the bottom. Oh, I can't see. And I'm just coming like that. Let me move to this side so you guys can see what I'm doing. Thank you, everyone, for being supportive. You guys are amazing. So I'm just taking it like, whew. let me do this. 
Let me continue. I think I'm going to continue this way. With my brush, I'm going to use the comb area of it. Because this wig actually comes with pre-plugged baby hair so that you don't have to pluck it. You're not creating baby hair. But if you want to create your own type of baby hair, you can do that. Yeah, so you can do that. Sandra says, let me read what Sandra says. Sandra says, when you are finished, if you have facial spray to remove the powder so the makeup looks natural. Oh, thank you. Yeah, I'll do that. I'll do that. I might do that off camera, but yeah, because, you know, I, I just want to stay on for one hour. But thank you so much for that suggestion. Ugh. I always struggle when I'm getting to the last part. Mm -hmm. Okay. So let's do that. Awesome. We're getting there. We're getting there. Thank you so much, Sandra. I'm so excited. When I get excited, I that's when I tend to want to rush the process. But yay, I think we I think we're done. I think we're done. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get a little bit of water and I'll tell you why I'm getting a little bit of water. And I'm just gonna dab a little bit of water because sometimes that spray, that weak spray, um it sometimes does a mess on me. So now you know that I didn't put foundation makeup on the wig itself. So this is what it looks like so far. But I can, of course, stain the wig and do all that. So let me remove, let me get my foundation. Okay. Just gonna get my foundation. Just gonna put some on there. I'm gonna get a little brush, one of my tiny brushes, and I'm just gonna put it right there. Okay, trust me. I'm gonna get another brush, kind of brush it in. Now, Um, let me, this is when it gets like, okay, girl, okay, girl, do your thing, do your thing. Okay. Do your thing. Okay. And that's because I've been making a mess, making a mess when I'm doing this. But the reason why I, that's why I like this. I want to try this gel. Yeah, good scissors is a must. My scissors was crappy. <laughs> My scissors was really, really crappy. So at least, I mean, I think, I think, I think we're good. I think, I think we're good. Um, I could do better. You know, I could stain the wig more if I wanted, but we will be okay. I think we will be okay with how we're doing it now. So let me take this down uh supportive you can pull the wig more so that it's not showing any more of your um hairline or stuff you cooled um i'm also going to take some of it and also that's why i said i would rather pre prefer the black wig so this lighter thing that you see right there is just the um, the wig cap itself, right? It's just the wig cap. Ooh. Yeah. I was like wondering, I'm like, what is that white thing? <laughs> and it's my, part of my glasses. Okay. Okay. I think, I think I will prep it even more. But so far, so good, right? So far, so good. This is not coming up because I have that grip on it. So let me just show you what it looks like. Bring some down here. So if I want to do my edges, I'm still going to trim some more. Guys, what do you guys think? I'm still going to trim some more. But so far, 
it does have pre-plugged baby hair but if i want to create some more baby hair i could of course take it you know take some more some my daughter is so good at doing this she would have said she would probably say mommy you should have waited let me create baby hair i am so bad at creating baby hair because i had a baby <laughs> I am so bad at creating baby hair. And this stuff, you could spray it on your scalp, on your forehead, and create baby hair with it. <laughs> uh, so sometimes, yeah, so you could create baby hair. I think I might cut some more off this area. You guys cannot see that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, but so far, I like it. I like it. I do like it. I think this is a good summer winter um if you guys are going into the summer season i know some countries they are going into the summer summer time but see this is even without me conway my hair to lay it flat there are some times that i'll buy a wig and tell me if this is you i'll buy a wig and the wig would um bunch up on top like there'll be a bunch right here look at this one it's giving me very nice and this is without me spraying it adding any sheen or anything like that it's really nice this is the length it is down i'm five four okay so your girl i am five four in case you're wondering how tall or stuff so i am five four and this is how low it gets it gets this way nice at the curvature of the bum bum perfect so it's really nice, really beautiful. You can wear it all back like that. Very nice. I think this is going to be my winter winter wig. <laughs> so that is it before you go to bed. Um, oh, thank you, Shabby. Shabby says you almost missed me. Oh, thank you for coming on. I know it's so nice to see everyone. Um, I like this one. I got this one in um, the color. So it comes in, I'll tell you the color. Let me, get, let me wear my glasses. Even I think with my glasses, it looks really nice. Uh, this is, as I said, this is a lace front human hair uh, wig, body wave, 24 inches, premium four by four lace closure, 180 degrees um density you really don't need the glue i just added the glue but really you don't need the glue because the way it was styled on the picture you actually could take you know like take more hair from here and create more baby hair you see how i was doing it and then you could create more baby hair from this making it so effortlessly thank you Rhonda Amazon customer thank you it looks so beautiful on me yeah so you could do all that it's so forgiving so if you're someone that you are new to wearing wig that is why I'm showcasing this it also comes in 14 inches it comes in 16 inches 18 inches this is 24 inches but it also comes in 20 inches um, 22 inches, 24 inches, 26 inches, and 28 inches. It comes really long. It's thick, but not heavy. Like I'm not sweating. You know, I'm not having that um, hot flashes and stuff. Um, one thing that I love about it is it's really, really cute. Very, very cute. Um, you could, even if I don't wear the wig cap, I could always, you know, weight and then camouflage it with my pads and stuff uh i also like that it is you know it's high quality made i can tell i'm just running my fingers through it and it feels good when you get initially you have that initial first shed but i think afterwards yeah so um kevin says it is beautiful but your winter without snow says I tell you, it gets cold here in Wisconsin. I said Wisconsin. I used to live in Wisconsin. It gets cold here in Houston. Um, so, but one thing I like about this, thank you, Kemi. It has been a long time, my sister. I have missed you. <clears throat> a lot of you guys have missed being live with you all. Um, 
But with this one, if you're in the winter time, I want to show you something. I'm going to show you some hats. So winter time, you can wear your different hats with it. Okay. So let me bring some of my winter hats. So I have this one. Oh, I love this. I have this one that I wear. I'm still trying to get, you know, this is the thing when you wear wig. You're just still trying to get used to it. <laughs> So I have this cap. You could take this cap. Look at look how pretty. You guys, for the winter. Hey, oh, oh, oh. You can't tell me nothing. You can't tell me nothing. Look how, look how cute this is. Do I look like a model? Hey, hey, oh. This is giving me life. Give me life. Give me life. Okay, okay. So let me show you another winter cap. So you could do the beanie. It's so beautiful. So this is a beanie. Okay. Look at that. I should be a model. I should be model like 40 because I'm 46 years old now. So, you know, like those cougar. Hey. And then I have my little boy on the side. Ah! <laughs> Don't tell my husband. <laughs> oh, but look at that. I could just style it. How do you guys wear your hats like that? This is giving me your rich Jamaican auntie. Oh, oh, look at that. Look at that. Oh, see? Hey, hey, mamacita. You guys, look how beautiful that looks. Oh, so for the winter, it can be awesome like that. Okay, what other one? Hi, Annie. Thank you for following. Thank you, Annie. Okay, so you don't want to wear the hat, the knitted hat. You want to wear baseball cap. Let's go for the game. See, this just shows you that, look, you can wear this with a cap. See that? Hey, this says, what does it say? What does it say? It says, I am a superwoman. <laughs> Please don't tell me where did you get that hat because, girl, I've had it for years. My favorite hat. Okay. Um, even if you decide that you're like, oh, I don't want to do hat. I want to do scarf like this. Yeah. Okay. 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 I see else. <laughs> wow, girl, you are really ready for winter. Yes, I'm ready for winter. And if you are not in the winter season and you are in an area that is tropical, that's okay. I got you. So this is, um, uh, what is Ankara? You can just tie it like that. You're going to church. Yeah. I'm not going to tie it the best way, but you can tie it different ways. Of course. I just want to show you guys that even with this wig, you can wear your hair with the wig and it is actually very, very, Forgiven and it still looks good. Whew, girl, you give me life. Girl, you give me life. And then I know I'm not tying it. Kemi, don't come for me, please. Because <laughs> I know Kemi is going to go, hmm, what are you tying? Don't come for me. Oh, don't come for me. You know, I can't. <laughs> I love you, sis. <laughs> but um, you could do your head wrap and it's still going to do well i am so bad at doing this okay you could do your different head wraps and stuff and you can wear it to an occasion i know this is now you do head wraps but okay trust me so let me just clean up uh, what am i doing clean up the wig and like that like that my wig head wrap is coming off just tuck it in like that tuck it in oh my goodness i am doing this the wrong way and embarrassing my ancestors <laughs> i'm embarrassing my ancestors oh i hope my mom doesn't watch this <laughs> Kevin, I am embarrassing my ancestors. Momo Gelentai. 
anyway anyway you guys you guys get it you guys get it if you don't get it forget about it <laughs> The thing is that I'm just trying to show you how fine this wig is, Jerry. Okay, this wig is fine. No question asked. Okay. So overall, I am actually gonna just wear it like this. I'll put a cap on if the if it gets too cold. But really, <laughs> Kevin says, those hats are beautiful. I miss <laughs> I miss you too. <laughs> I came late. Please tell me where you got the wig. I will tell you. I will tell you. So um, thank you everyone for watching. It has been a fun time watching with you guys. Where can I get the things that you are modeling? Oh, you mean the cap? I do those caps. I picked it up from random countries, random places. I don't even know. Um, like this one is from Nigeria. <laughs> Just, oh man, but thank you so much, everyone. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. I'm so excited about this week. I love this week. And I guess I'll talk to you all later. Okay, let's do this again on Friday. Friday, let's do a Q&A on Friday. Please check out the wig is the VIP Young wig. And um, the link, The click on the carousel to get it. Click on the link to get it. And you guys stay beautiful, stay amazing. I love you guys, okay? Bye. <laughs> okay. Bye, guys. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, my goodness. This place is a total mess. Total, total mess. Um, could you? Oh, by, by, this, by the way, I was thinking, I was like thinking that I could actually take the wig if it gets too much and I could actually braid it. I think I could actually braid. Oh, my goodness. I'm so bad at braiding my own hair. Like, do like a loose braid. Oh, yeah. Like do a loose braid with this. That would be so nice, especially if I'm walking out. Hmm. I don't walk out with wigs. So I don't know how people that wear wigs walk out with wigs. But see, could actually do that. You see? And tight at the ends, unless it's going to come loose. Do like that. And just tight at the ends so that it doesn't come loose. Please, when you are braiding like this, make sure you have equal parts. But see how beautiful it is. See how beautiful this is. You guys imagine. See, I look like a Monday. Look at me. I've sprayed my body. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. <laughs> I'll talk to you all later. Take care. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.